taking the medication, please take the following points into consideration. Wash your hands thoroughly before preparing the medication. If the medication is in the fridge, take it out 5 minutes beforehand to allow it to reach room temperature. Try to take the medication at around the same time of the day, choosing a different area of the abdomen each day to avoid irritation. Around the injection site, you may experience a local reaction and one or more of the following symptoms may appear. Redness, pain, swelling, irritation or bruising. These are normal and disappear after a few hours. Once you have finished, place the remaining items in a suitable container or bring them to your nearest IVI clinic. Find a quiet place and get the materials you need for the injection ready, placing them on a clean surface. Fostipur comes in the following presentations. Fostipur 150 International Units, 10 doses and 1 dose. Fostipur 75 International Units, 10 doses and 1 dose. At your pharmacy, buy one 2.5 milliliter sterile syringe, one intramuscular injection needle, one subcutaneous injection needle, gauze, alcohol. Use a suitable container for disposing of these materials after use, or bring them to your nearest IVI clinic. Pay close attention to the following instructions and do not hesitate to get in touch with your IVI centre if you have any questions. Open the box. Take out one vial of powder and one ampule of solvent. Take the orange plastic cap off the vial of powder. Take the ampule of solvent and tap the top end gently to make all of the liquid fall to the bottom. Hold the ampule with the red tip pointing towards you. Cover it with gauze to avoid cutting yourself and break it open. Open the wrapping of the large needle without taking it out. Fit it onto the syringe and remove the cover along with the wrapping. Insert the needle into the ampule of solvent and extract all of the contents by pulling back the plunger. Place the vial of powder on the table. Take the syringe filled with solvent and pierce the centre of the rubber stopper with the needle pushing it in as far as it will go. Next, press the plunger down, slowly adding all of the solvent to one side of the vial to prevent bubbles from forming. The powder will dissolve quickly, forming a clear solution. Without removing the needle or releasing the plunger, mix the contents by swirling gently with your hand, taking care not to shake too roughly. Place the needle at the bottom of the vial, tilting it slightly and pull back the plunger, filling the syringe with the total contents of the vial. Do not let go of the plunger until you have removed the needle from the vial, so that the liquid does not flow back in. If the dose indicated by your doctor requires you to use more than one vial of powder, add the solution obtained from the previous step to the next vial of powder until you reach the prescribed dose. You can dissolve up to three vials of powder using just one ampule of solvent. Pull back the plunger until the air enters the syringe to ensure that no medication is lost. Put the cover back on the large needle. Open the wrapping of the small needle without taking it out. Unscrew the large needle from the syringe and then screw the small needle onto the syringe, removing the cover and the wrapping. Hold the syringe with the needle pointing upward and tap it gently until all of the air rises to the top. Press the plunger slowly until the air has been removed. Take some gauze soaked in alcohol and thoroughly clean an area of your abdomen below the level of your navel. With one hand, pinch a fold of skin and insert the entire length of the needle with the bevel facing up at an angle of 45 to 90 degrees. Depress the plunger slowly and steadily as far as it will go. Next, let go of your skin and pull the needle out gently. Press down on the area for a couple of seconds with the gauze, while massaging it lightly so the solution disperses under the skin. Finally, put the cover back on the small needle and unscrew it. 
Dispose of it along with the syringe, the large needle, the ampule and the empty vial in a suitable container or bring it to your nearest IVI clinic. To store the medication correctly, please heed the following advice. Keep it in its original packaging to protect it from the light until use. Store at room temperature and not above 25 degrees centigrade. The medication must be used as soon as it has been prepared.